The vote on Thursday is a small step in a transition that has frustrated Libyans since the fall of Gaddafi. The fragile government is often at the mercy of rival bands of former rebels who refuse to accept Tripoli's authority. On Saturday, Libyans in the diaspora cast their votes ahead of those in Libya. The elections have started abroad today, the 15th of February 2014, and will continue until the 17th of February in 13 countries. On the streets of Tripoli, where candidates' posters blanket busy roadways, people express strong opinions on the direction the constitution should take. The constitution is for all people. The constitution applies to me, the poor man, just as it applies to the president of the country. If the constitution states that he should stay in power for a given period, then he should stay. If it states that it's time for him to leave, then he must leave. The drafting of the constitution has already been delayed by infighting between the National Forces Alliance Party and the Islamist Justice and Construction Party, the political arm of the Muslim Brotherhood in Libya. And as the voting date nears, the commission has assured citizens that all requirements are in place for the exercise. The commission is getting ready for the elections inside the country on the 20th of February 2014 where the main and sub-account operation rooms have been initiated in all the 17 electoral commissions. Once the 60-member Constitutional Assembly is elected, it will have 120 days to draft a new charter, which would then be submitted to a popular referendum. If the document is approved, an election for a proper parliament would be held in late 2014. Maria Galang, CCTV.